Just a warning, I feel like I got up on the wrong side of the bed today, so if I sound a little different, that's probably the reason. I don't do still lifes very often, but I decided to do this one as I was trying to build a diverse portfolio so I could present it to Hallmark Cards in Kansas City. This was back in the early 1990s when I still had hair and self-respect. For years, I had dreamed of working at Hallmark Cards, at least since junior high school. I was also influenced by Kansas City watercolor artist Jim Hamill, who used to work at Hallmark. For me, at the time, working at Hallmark was the pinnacle of artistic success. I no longer think that way, but that was my thinking at the time. I did manage to meet Jim Hamill while in college when he gave a watercolor demonstration for our painting class. Needless to say, I had no scholastic weight at that time, an associate degree just wouldn't do. I now have about 265 college credit hours, but no degree, 80 in medicine, 15 in law, and the rest in liberal arts and fine arts. But that's what you get when you're an older professional student in a recession. This is off topic, but I firmly believe that absolutely anyone could be a success in America if they are born with enough money. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, I didn't get the job at Hallmark. In retrospect, I'm kind of glad I did not. I had a friend and neighbor who worked at Hallmark back in the early 90s. He encouraged me to apply for a job there. He's a very fine artist, but I can see some of the Hallmark influence in some of his work, kind of cardy and mild-mannered. My friend helped me to get a job at one of the oldest stained glass studios in Kansas City, working as a glass painter. And what I'm about to say, I do not mean to be ungrateful or disrespectful to my friend. While some of my work may not be all that great in some ways, at least it is original and somewhat bold at times in its execution of color. I guess, though, in the end, it's like most of my endeavors, peeing in the wind. I am one of the few people who have to wear a wetsuit just to walk down the street. I would like to point out, before I close, I think I found a strange coincidence while researching this video. I was looking for examples of artist Jim Hamill's work to share with you when I saw a scene that I had painted before. I'm pretty sure that this scene and this Jim Hamill work was done near Lexington, Missouri along the Missouri River. I have an old work of mine done on the same location. I'm not actually working on the painting shown. It was done for a publicity photo that I never used. Well, I hope I might have, in some small way, helped you with your chronic insomnia. Thank you so much for not watching. That is, if my views and likes are any indicator.